Talking about the emotions that made me sick, I was diagnosed with stage three back cancer five years ago. And today I'm going to be talking about anger, which was massive in my diagnosis. And why I know that is that I really had an experience uh, with my body and my mind where I understood how anger was affecting me. At about like session three or four of chemotherapy, I was doing a meditation where the meditator asked for us to put the hand on our cancer and ask the cancer why you are here. And interestingly enough, my cancer was no longer in my body. My cancer had already been taken out, but I was going through chemotherapy because I had an emergency surgery. But I put my hand where my gut is and I asked my cancer, why are you here? And the cancer screamed at me, anger anger. I am angry. It was as if somebody was inside me saying it out loud. There was no doubt whatsoever that there was so much anger inside me. The crazy thing is that I had been holding on to this anger in, in my body and in, in my mind, in my heart for a long, long time. I'm talking about over 10 years. And in saying that, I think anger is an, an emotion that moves us to doing things. And I was angry when I left Brazil, my own country, because I wanted to, things to be different, right? But this anger that I carry was, there was a lot of resentment behind. There was a lot of anger uh, towards my family, people that loved me and people that were very close to me. That wasn't really benefiting me at all, right? Anger is an emotion that it's almost like a ping tap. It keeps eating you away. In the book of Brenia Brown, which I really loved uh, her book about emotions, uh, the Atlas of the Heart, you know, she talks that anger activates our nervous system and can hijack our thoughts and behaviors, which, ex which happened to me, right? And it can take a real toll on our mental and physical health. And it's hard to realize that the anger is only affecting us who, who is holding on to the anger. Anger made me sick slowly because I kept holding on to it. And it was almost like if it became a mass inside me, it became the tumor, it became the cancer. And although they've taken the cancer out when I did this meditation, the energy of the cancer was still inside me because when I put my hand in my belly, you know, I had an answer and the answer was screaming at me. And the answer was so clear and loud. For me, it was crucial to let go of the anger. And I know it's not an easy process. I've got a, um, a course that talks about finding forgiveness. It is a process. But if I can say that there is one massive step towards it, and probably the most important one, it is to wanting to let go of that anger. Realizing that that anger is no longer serving you. And, and just thinking to yourself, I don't want this in my body anymore. Because it is in your body. It's not only in your mind, on your thoughts, or in your heart. It is in your body. And it's creating havoc. It's creating chaos in your body. For me, it was a really a matter of making that decision. I'm ready to let this go. I'm ready to let go of all this anger. I no longer want to be angry.